Hide your light, let it shine for all. Let your good deeds glow for all to see, so that they will praise your heavenly Father. That means when we love God, He shines out of us like a bright light. Then everyone around us can see His light and say, Wow, God is amazing! Praise the Lord, children. Buona Sifiwe. Are you happy to be here today? Turn to your neighbor and tell them you look blessed. Wow, Karibuni Sana, this is Teacher Damaris once again, happy to be taking you through our lesson for this week and I pray that you will be blessed and I also know that you will be blessed. Amen. So can we close our eyes for a word of prayer? When I want to pray, I put my hands together, I close my eyes and ready to pray. Dear God, we come before your presence once again this morning. We just want to thank you, Lord, for your love for us. We want to bless your name, Father, because you have brought us this far and we don't take it for granted. Lord, how we pray that you may forgive us our sins, O God, sins that we may have committed while talking, while acting, in any way, O Jehovah Father. Forgive us, Lord, and help us, Lord, to be children who please you in everything that we do. As we listen to your word today, Lord, open our minds, Open our ears that we will understand and that it will bless us. How we love you and we worship your name. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. 
Amen. 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 Are you excited to be here? Yes, I am too because I am learning so, so much and I'm liking it. Last week, teacher Sam taught us about the third beatitude. Who can remember what it was? I'm listening. Who can remember? Yes, we were taught that blessed are the meek for they will inherit the earth. That was the book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 5. And today we continue with something new, something exciting and something that we are all going to love. That is Matthew chapter 5 and verse 6. The fourth beatitude says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. I want you to say it together with me. Let's go. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 6. It says, Blessed are those who thirst and hunger for righteousness, for they will be filled. Amen. I want us to think about something. Nani anapenda kukula breakfast hapa? Sisi zote tunapenda. What do you like having for breakfast, someone? Aha, uh -huh, eggs. Did I hear someone say bread? Mandazi? Me, I like nguashe. How many here like nguashe? Ndoma? Oh, you don't like them? Wow, but me, I like them. Now, when you don't have them, you feel the urge. Unasikia unataka sana kuzikula, unatamani sana. Hiyo ndiyo nja. Kwa hivyo hapa tunaambiwa, heri ambao wako na nja ya kutenda mambo ya ambao ya namfurahisha mungu. Doing the righteous things. Those who hunger for righteousness. Righteousness comes from the word right. And it means doing the right things. So heri, heri ambao wako na nja ya kufanya yale mambo mazuri na yale ya namfurahisha mungu. Kwa nini? Biblia inasema maana watajazwa or they will be filled. Praise the Lord. What does it mean to hunger and to thirst for the righteous things? I want you to think about something. During the day, ninini kitu huwa inaingia katika maindi yako. When you are alone, what are the things that come to your mind? When you get your mom's or your dad's phone, where do you go to check? Which site do you check most of the time? That shows what you hunger for. Bona asifiwe, kama unaenda unatazama nyimbo, unajua ni nyimbo gani, that is what your heart is hungry for. Bona asifiwe, ni kama vile, kama tukona njaa asubuhi, tumesema tunapenda mkate breakfast, tunapenda mayai, ukiamka, huwezi enda nje utafute mchanga ukule. Because you're not hungry for soil, isn't it? If you're hungry for bread, you will go for bread. Bwana asifiwe, kwa hivyo ata sisi katika maisha yetu. What are we hungry for? Hizo vitu ambazo tunahanga, zile vitu ambazo tunatamani, ndizo tunaenda na tunakula. Lakini Yesu anasema, kubarikiwa ni yule mtu, akona shauku, yule mtu, akona njaa ya kutenda mambo, Mazuri, bwana asifiwe, maana atajazwa. Mungu atatujaza, atatupatia neema na atatusaidia kuweza kufanya yale mambo mazuri. Unajua ata leo, ukiwa na njaa, if you thirst to be a great person, you, the, the universe will conspire. The universe will do everything possible to make you a great person. Bwana asifiwe. Kile kitu ambacho unatamani, kile kitu ambacho unataka kabisa, kuna vile ambavyo, kila kitu huwe inatendeka ili ukaweza kupata lile jambo ambalo umekua ukitamani. Bwana asifiwe, kwa hivyo tuangalie sana, ni nini hii ambayo tunatamani. Tuangalie sana, ni jambo gani hili ambalo huwa linaingia kwa mawazo yetu kila siku, kila wakati. Bwana asifiwe. For those who hunger for righteousness, what are the actions that show that your hunger is for righteousness? Bwana asifiwe. For example, for those people who hunger to do the right things, the one thing that they do, they read the word of God. Bwana asifiwe. Utajipata unasoma neno la mungu. Praise the Lord. When you take 
the phone from your mom, from your dad, from your big brother, from your big sister, the first thing you will do, you will look for teacher Sam, you will look for teacher Anne, you will look for all the teachers and look at what they taught so that you can learn and you can grow. Bwana asifiwe, huyo ni mtu ambaye anahanga na anathast for righteousness. Kwa hivyo, Yesu hakuwa anasema wale watu ambao wanahisi njaa, hawajakula lunch ama wame fast, apana. Yesu alikuwa anasema wale watu ambao wanatamani kufanya mambo mazuri. And let me tell you something. When you hunger for righteousness, you will watch what you feed yourself with. Bwana asifiwe, ukienda kwa TV, hautatamani kuona zile nyimbo mbaya mbaya bwana asifiwe na unajua wakati mwingi tunapenda kuuliza teacher is it wrong to do this teacher is it wrong to do this na mimi huwa ninasema hiyo kitu unauliza is it wrong ebu geuza hiyo sentence na useme it is wrong so if you are asking me teacher is it wrong to listen to this music anza kusema teacher it is wrong to listen to this music bwana asifiwe na utaona ya kwamba you have the answers to your questions how do you like that bwana asifiwe so what are you going to be thirsting for going forward are you going to be thirsting for the right things are you going to be thirsting to do the wonderful things bwana asifiwe blessed are those who thirst and hunger for righteousness for they will be field bwana asifiwe lakini hata wale watu ambao wanahanga na kuthirst for the wrong things pia huwa wanajazwa lakini si Mungu anawa anawajaza they are filled by the wrong things and their lives turn up to be bad bwana asifiwe righteousness is being right with god doing the right things for god praise the lord that is what we call righteousness our god is good our god is faithful anataka kutupatia zile vitu mzuri lakini ni lazima tukue na hiyo hanga ni lazima tutafute unajua ukisikia njaa utaenda kutafuta utaenda kitchen ukisikia njaa hautaenda bedroom utaenda kitchen so when your, your your hunger is to do the right things when you hunger for righteousness you will look for it in the right places it means utaenda wapi utaenda church bwana asifiwe because you want to learn the things of god just like we learned the other day when jesus was 12 years old he got lost they had gone to the temple with his parents and he got lost and the parents looked for him amongst all the people they were with they could not find jesus so they went back to look for jesus and you remember where they found jesus you are right they found jesus in the temple he was in god's house so even you when we look for you when we look at what you're doing do we find you doing the things of god tukitafuta ile kitabu ile notebook ambayo umeficha kwa bag yako tutaona umeandika nini tutaona umeandika prayers zako ama tutapata umeandika a letter to someone tutapata umeandika funny things praise the lord may we hunger and thirst for righteousness and then our god will fill us praise the lord are you excited children by the blessings of god how do you feel that lord the god has given us all these blessings you feel good yes let's remind ourselves those blessings from matthew chapter 5 verse 3 we said the first one is blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of god blessed are those who mourn for what will happen to them yes for they will be comforted blessed are the meek and they for they will inherit the earth and now today we have learned that blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they will be filled turn to your neighbor and tell them i feel blessed are you feeling blessed turn to the other neighbor and tell them i am blessed amen 
God bless you so much, children. In this coming week, whatever you do, ask yourself, am I looking for righteousness? Am I hungry for righteousness? Am I looking to do the right things so that God will fill me? Amen. God bless you so much. Let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Our Lord and our God, we come before your presence once more. We are so humbled, Lord, that you have taught us so many of your blessings. This week, O oh God, as we look forward to being hungry and to being thirsty for the righteousness, may you fill us, O oh God, like your word has promised. Help us, Lord, to do the right things. Help us, Lord, to think the right things. Help us, O oh God, to even speak the right things. For without you, Lord, we cannot make it. We love you and we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. We love you and we look forward to next week. Make sure you are here same time and same place. God bless you. Amen.